morning, everyone. Well, it's the beginning of Christmas time. Thanksgiving is over. People are pulling out their decorations and I'm almost there, but not yet. This video is about a few little disappointments over the past week and some wonderful times. A little bit of fashion, a little bit of chit chat, and a little bit of cooking too. So I think you'll enjoy this. But first, we're going to start with one of the disappointments. Do you remember these beautiful shoes that I bought? And they were so beautiful. I got them on eBay. Well, I was planning to wear them on Thanksgiving Day. And I knew that because of the slide, I might not be able to walk too well in them, but I was going to sit in a chair with these beautiful shoes on as we sat with the whole family and my beautiful Walmart cashmere-like long dress and matching duster. And it was just going to be a heartwarming day. Well, didn't wear these. In fact, I think I had slippers on the whole day. As I tell you about our past week and some of the disappointments and some of the good times, I'm going to put some makeup on here since it's morning and Moosey is still snoozing. And I have my new, well, actually it's about a month old and I've been dying to wear it. My beautiful robe from Walmart, the teal color with the gorgeous fur. And it's a little bit chilly now, but I know it's going to be warming up. I've already put my castor oil on. I'm going to start with my e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. As you know, I don't wear a foundation. I just wear this. So I'm going to start with this. Well, I think the last time that we left off, we were preparing for Thanksgiving. And the way it was all going to go down was that we were going to have our Thanksgiving meal up at Colleen and Micah's with the children. And instead of having a huge, big Thanksgiving dinner with everybody, and we, we probably number something around 55, 60 people at this point, just with children, grandchildren, spouses, and children which we are doing, by the way, at Christmas time. So, so I'm gonna let that set for a minute before I go on to the next step. By the way, I've started to um, organize my lipsticks. I don't have too many, but this nice little thing I picked up at the thrift shop is working out nicely because now I can see without always putting the glasses on. Well, what happened was we decided that we would split up into smaller groups, mainly because of COVID and people exposing each other. What was the breakthrough going around now? This is my e.l.f. camo concealer, by the way. A little bit here. Really don't need that much. A little bit up there. It's mostly the cheeks that I need this on. A little bit down here. So, <clears throat> Matthew and his family were going to have a meal with Dubby um, and some of her family would be around. And um, also, of course, Billy was up in Idaho with his wife, Bonnie, and they're coming down for Christmas, but they wouldn't be coming down for Thanksgiving. And Mikey and Sabrina wanted us to come down there, but we decided um, what we wanted to do would be to go down earlier in the week. Better start moving this. Earlier in the week, because you know, Megan and I had that project of putting together the family birthday calendar, and she dearly wanted to do that with me. So I thought, okay, that's what we'll do. We'll go down early in the week, have a lovely day, but we'll still spend the day with Colleen and Micah having a meal up at their home. So everything was working out. Margie was having dinner with her in-laws and family. So every, everything was fine. And I had planned to wear my nice little outfit since Colleen said she would do all the cooking. I was just making the cranberries and I was going to make my own little stuffing with the apples and the uh, water chestnuts. The camo does a great job, this e.l.f. camo, 
of covering up all the little age spots or whatever might pop up and also under the eyes and for any little spots that are here. So I think we're okay here. So, so we arrived early in the morning. This is my, um, I forget the name of it, Walmart, I'll tell you this in a minute, but this is what I use and I use a very light color on the end just to swish over my lids and I'll look in my little mirror here see if it's coming out right I would like both of them to match up seems to work just this light color now, now I do have my nice little kit here that I keep reaching for I bought this a long time ago and it's worked well for all my makeup keep everything in here keeps me organized. But Megan and I got busy putting that beautiful family birthday and anniversary calendar together. There mm -hmm. are 60 people in all, and there are 29 girls and um, 21 boys. And I counted 10 anniversaries, but there are more. Yes. Now we'll try something else. Try to make a house with a door and a window. Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> at this beautiful mid-afternoon snack that Sabrina has whipped up for us. Oh, happy hour at 2.30. Happy hour at 2.30. What is that? Hot brie. Big brie. Uh, Nuts and, and brie. Mold wine. Mold wine. Blue vine. Blue, Blue vine. vine. And piggies in the blanket, right? And bread. And bread to put the brie on. Oh, thank you, Sabrina. What a wonderful party with our grandkids. Fun, fun, fun. And Moosey, what you drinking there, Moosey? Looks yummy. Mm, is it nice and hot? This is one of my favorite. Is that? My favorite holiday Don't drinks. Know. While we were down there, about two o'clock, one o'clock in the afternoon, I had a call from Colleen. And she said, Hi, having a good day? And I said, yes, we are. So she said, well, I have something to tell you. I said, oh gosh, I can tell by the sound in your voice. What? She said, well, Micah was sick yesterday. Um, it was intestinal, but he had some tests done and they came out negative, but the doctor did say that maybe he should quarantine just within his own family until he gave him the long test. The short tests were negative, but he wanted to test him for COVID for the long one. So I had a feeling that the wonderful day when I'd be wearing these shoes was about to end. <laughs> so that meant no Thanksgiving day with Colleen and Micah. Well, after our drive home, we were a little bit exhausted and we thought about it and thought about it. And when the other kids heard all about it, they said, oh, we'll come and have a dinner with us. But then there were some crowds starting to build with some of the groups. And Lucy and I decided that we were gonna just stay home, the two of us. You know what? Not cooking, Colleen said she'd send the whole meal down. She was still going to cook. Micah was gonna isolate himself somewhat and she was going to cook the whole dinner and would send everything down to us. We thought, you know what, we can live with it. And then we thought, what is Thanksgiving? It's just being together with someone you love or many people you love. It's just a big meal that we all give thanks. And yes, getting together is wonderful, but we were going to try it this way. So we decided that we would enjoy the day and enjoy a meal from Colleen and Micah, then hop into bed early and have our pumpkin pie. Oh, Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, Happy Thanksgiving! 
I just use this little uh, eyebrow pencil to um, go under the eyes here a little bit to just outline them. My eyes do wash away if I don't do anything with them. And I fill in up here a little bit. This is my L'Oreal telescopic, by the way. And I do love that on the eyes. Two more steps to the face. <laughs> Always have to do my blush, which is also an ELF uh, product. And it's the stick blush, I believe it's called Sparkling Rose. And it's a cream blush that I just so, sort of contour a little bit. I start under the cheekbone and go up a little bit on the bone, a little bit this way. Sometimes I do too much, but so let me see how we're doing. A little bit of a contour and a little bit up here just to look a little healthy. Now, as my daughter is always reminding me, blend, blend, mom, blend. So the rest of our week went quite well once we decided that we would just relax and settle down. The next day, Wednesday, of course, the day before Thanksgiving, I did cook my cranberries and I've showed you how I do that. I spent the day, a quiet day. I did a few chores around and um, I think that's basically all we did, except I did do a lot of Amazon shopping, which I will share some of the gifts that I bought. I want to share some of these hot chocolate things that I bought that go with this. This cute little hot chocolate pot I did find at the thrift shop and I just love it. It's so cute, it has this little glass top on it and it is ceramic. I wish I could have found five of these, but I couldn't. So I have that. <clears throat> the other wonderful thing that I found on Amazon is this wonderful artisan handmade Mexican frother. It's a tamper for tamping down your coffee or espresso or whatever you tamp down. And I don't quite understand how these rings, there's three rings on here. Well, there's three of them that are movable, one on the bottom. And I guess you froth with this. I will have to try this out. <clears throat> it was um, something like $6.99, but I don't know whether it works as well. I do have two of the battery operated frothers to go with this hot cocoa set, but this I thought was so pretty. I had to get one of them anyway. Now here's the fun part. I did order several of these sets. Now these sets, are, look what they are. Here is a Christmas tree. And these are the stencils that you would put on top. And, and in here, in this little package for $6.99, I believe there's 26 of these. Now I will split these up, but I don't know what I did with my coffee cup, but let's pretend this. You hold it on top of a, a teacup or a coffee cup and you pour your froth through here, or uh, you would put cinnamon, brown cinnamon, if you're doing something on top of a white froth. And then it comes with the styling stick, which has a sharp point on the end, and this little end to hold it. And this is how you drag, you've seen the baristas when they uh, do the beautiful designs on the tops of the frothies comes with a little ring that you hold them all together. They have these little uh, holes in the top. You put them on here. And I thought that this would be so cute with a frother, a package of these, and perhaps a little thing of hot cocoa or something, some kind of a nice can of uh, nice cocoa. These would be great for a family with children. It could be a family gift. Going along with my um, emergency lanterns are these cute headlamps. I've used these for sewing, most use them for painting, and you would need these too, especially if you have to move around. You, the lanterns are good. Here's another cute gift. Have you ever heard of Huga? Now, Huga is the Danish secret to happy living. 
It's a funny pronunciation, but that is the correct pronunciation. A lot of people have spoken about this on YouTube, and I was, was so curious that I ordered a couple of these books, one for myself. And as you know, the Scandinavian countries, almost all of them are in the top five of the happiest people in the world, so far as living goes. And <clears throat> it's not just about, you know, uh, pulling the Christmas trees on the sleds at midnight and sliding down the hills with bonfires and cozy fireplaces and simple living. It, it has a lot to do with the countries, the government, the peace of mind of people and the um, happiness that they have a family is big too. But an interesting book to read, and I did find this also on, on Amazon. Oh, here's, this is for the barbecuers, whether they're male or female. And this comes wrapped up together. It's a sauce pot and a basting brush set all in one. And it's made by Cuisinart. Now, I don't want to take it out of here, but this is what it is. It's this stainless steel cup. And if you lift it, here's the brush. I don't want to unwrap it. And it has a nice lid, as you can see the lid if I lift this up. And I think that this accompanied with some, maybe a set of wonderful sauces. A lot of people like their own sauces, but definitely for the barbecue guy in your life or some of the kids. Love this gift idea. I forgot the final um, step in my make makeup application. If you remember, my beloved shimmer that I use on my cheeks, my forehead, and my nose has worn down to the quick. I was even starting to hurt myself as I started to apply this when it was too low. But I did find, I hope it's going to be the same because I did find a substitute and it's from the Palladio collection. I did send to Amazon for it, Palladio, and I wasn't aware of a lot of this makeup, but I do use their lipstick, their Velvet Wine, the deep one that I love. And it looks pretty similar. It's shimmery, I'm glowing, creamy stick luminizer. So let's try it and see if it works as well as the other one. Now I put it on the ball of my cheek and go up. Usually I have no blush on the ball of the cheek. Down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the chin, and a little bit up here. Now I can't really see it. I'm going to look into my mirror to see if this went on. I think it did. As you blend it going up, it sort of takes away a little bit of the blush, and I think I like it. Does it give a glow? Trying to see, well, we'll see in the end. So that's the final step of the makeup. My moosey just got up, and he said he thought that I needed a cup of hot tea in my throat, that my throat sounded very gravelly. Well, it still is only eight o'clock in the morning, and that happens so but I'm drinking some celestial tea which is nice every once in a while he also asked me if uh, as he was combing his hair if I wanted to borrow his comb evidently he doesn't understand my messy updo so cheers it does sound better doesn't it my makeup and nails today are the lipstick is a combination of my Palladio Velvet Wine <clears throat> on the bottom. Sounds like I need a sip of my tea. And on the top is a, a mauve, a rosy mauve. A little bit lighter for me today. This is a very pale, pearly pink. And on top of it, I put this shade. It's, um, it's also a gel, or at least they call them gel-like because they're not expensive. 
And that's my nails and my lips today, a little bit lighter. I did want to tell you about what I made the night before Thanksgiving. I've been wanting to do this for a long time because Moose and I just had our mouths all set for this. I made the English version of Toad in the Hole. And this is done with sausages or brats, any kind you want, and the original Yorkshire pudding recipe. You do it in a pan, in hot oil, follow the Yorkshire pudding directions with the sausages in the middle, and make some brown gravy with a whole red onion chopped up in the gravy. Ah, oh, it was delicious. And I show you following this. You'll love it and want to make it yourself. Now, the American version is just a piece of toast with an egg in the middle, but the real toad in the hole is English. toad in the hole. The Scottish British toad in the hole. Oh my goodness, look at that Yorkshire pudding coming up over the sides. And look at those sausage toads. I think it worked. Moosey and I are going to have this right now in our Betty with that hot brown onion gravy over it. Here they are. Hot brown gravy with onions and the buttered Yorkshire pudding and the toad stuck in there. Mm -mm. We are having a feast. Well, Missy and I are sitting outside talking about preparations for Christmas. You know, we enjoyed our breakfast. We did. Yeah, a picnic breakfast out here. And one of the first things that we do for Christmas, and it's a tradition, is you know what we have to do first, besides put the wreath up? We have to find the sh elf on the shelf. Right. And I'll be darned if I could ever find it. I don't know where it is. He always appears right after Thanksgiving, though. It'll come again. Where do you think he is? I have no idea. We can go inside and look for him. We could, possibly. Yeah. Moose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi there, Elfie. How'd you get in there, man? There he is. Do you remember what we call ours? And this is, a, oh, Patrick. He's Patrick, that's Why? right. Yeah. And Colleen Why is he just, <laughs> I don't know. He, He's an Irish elf on the shelf. Because he wears green. That's probably why. But he's been in our family for years and years. But the one that was in the family, even before that, from the time they were little, Margie has. And if if she'll send me a picture, um, I'll show him to you. He's a little ragged, but he does have history in our family. That's for sure. Colleen just texted me, and she she. Uh, said, guess where he is? I guess he arrived. Usually he comes upside down in a in a bowl of popcorn or whatever, but we're going to do <laughs> um, a game with you viewers out there of our channel. Whenever I do... Uh, I feel like a dunce sitting here holding this. No, well, tell them what we're going to do. We're going to hide it before every YouTube. Oh, well, we won't hide it. He'll go find his own hiding place. Oh, uh, now I remember. And then what? And then we'll let the viewers try to find it. Yeah, we'll take and a walk if around. And you drop right in and say you found it, you won't get anything. <laughs> no, there's no giveaway here. Oh, but, okay. but it'll just be fun. So if you spot him in one of our videos, you let me know, okay? This is the big symbolic day. Christmas wreath is going up. It was a pretty one, wasn't it? It was very natural and I did love it. Now I was considering painting my door a bright red, 
but I don't want to overstress myself for the holidays and I'm not going to get into that. So I'm just going to put this up now. Let's see if we can do this. This is a heavy one, but it's pretty. There it is. Wish the sun were shining on the door, but it's a pretty wreath. Something else arrived in the mail last night and Brendan just brought it down from the house. And I want to show you it. Remember I was talking about the uh, frothers, the milk frothers that go with the decorating? Well, here they are. And I wanna show them to you. They're um, anything from matcha, which is that green frothy drink to coffee to hot chocolate. And you froth the steamed milk and you can make your designs. I'm so excited about these uh, things that go together to make a gift. I think they're really cute. This, I think I got two, if I'm not mistaken, for under $10. And it's, um, it's really a unique thing. It's battery operated. You put two double A's in the top and here is the frother on the bottom. This could be a fun family thing. And this is one of my favorite gifts for Christmas. I will put it down. It's uh, an interesting little thing, and I've always wanted to do this. Now, Ryan, one of our granddaughters, worked for Starbucks, and she was a little, what you call a, a barista. Uh, I asked her if she could demonstrate doing this for us, but she wasn't quite sure. She said, it's a little bit hard, but you can do this on your own, if you have some skills or you don't need the stencils, the stencils are, I think, more to use with maybe some cinnamon, hot chocolate, something else. So that's it. The other thing I wanted to share, besides my little elf on the shelf here sitting, is a little sign that I put up every Christmas. And it's so true. And I'll read it to you. It says, while giving our children the things that we didn't have, let's not forget to give them the things we did have. And I love this little sign. It is so true. We did have a wonderful childhood. It might not be as exciting to the kids today, the things we did, but it was a great childhood. By the way, for those of you who are still with us, our elf on the shelf is somewhere behind me. If you see it, let me know. Unfortunately, no giveaway, but a fun game that we're gonna play until Christmas. What I'm wearing right now is a faux Sherpa from Walmart, $10. I got several of them for some of my little gals. And let me just- It does have one of those kangaroo pouches, a nice zipper, black zipper, and it's very, very cozy. Nice little elastic here. I don't know whether they still have them. They've been on clearance for a while and I've, I've picked up several of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think these videos on the weeks before Christmas are going to be a little longer than usual because there's so much to show and so much to say. Maybe not so much to do, but we are gonna take a ride through a great neighborhood one day, maybe next week, and show you the lights. It's a very famous neighborhood. Every house all lit up and it'll be beautiful. So thank you so much for watching, for all your comments. I love reading them all. I might not get to answer them, but you will get hearts because I, I do read every single comment. Those of you who have not subscribed yet, think about it. We youngins do have some fun in our golden years. So enjoy the weeks ahead. Don't stress out. I'm trying not to, and I'm doing a good job of it too. Goodbye for now. God bless us all.